Hi everyone, my name is Ashley, A-S-H-L-I-E, and please don't forget to subscribe to me. Today, it's gonna be a little different. Instead of doing a makeup review, I'm going to do a face cleansing product, which if you do makeup all the time, your skincare is a really, really, really important thing that you should never forget to do because a clean canvas is a good canvas to do makeup on. So I got this in the mail. Well, the instructions I kind of put in front of it, but it's the Radiance Spin Care System. And here's what it looks like when it first comes in the mail. You get four different kind of applicators to put on here. You get a pumice stone, a body cleanser, you get a face cleanser and a face exfoliator. So you get four interchangeable accessories, facial cleansing brush, facial exfoliation brush, large body cleansing brush, and a pumice stone. Deeply cleanse your skin with the Radiant Spin Care System's rotating movement to achieve cleaner and more vibrant skin over your whole body. Takes four AA batteries, which will last a long time with you only using your brush a few times a week you do not have to use it every day because it will be too rough on your skin it's extremely easy to pop on each individual head on the machine which i will get into very shortly the machine thank god's water resistant because i take it in the shower all the time to do my body with it they gave me an affiliate code on duval.com it is my name ashley seven zero so a s h l i e seven zero to get 70 percent off of your order but it's not just for this they have other cleansing systems as well and other hair styling systems so it's any styling products so this retails for 95 dollars if you use my code to get 70 percent off it is 28.50 so I would highly suggest you take advantage of that because it takes off $66.50, which is a lot of money. They have hair straighteners, curling irons, all different kinds of tools like this. I would just go on to devol.com and look. And when you want, both right before you check out, you can put in my code and you could see what it would come out to. Make sure with each use that you clean each unit and all applicators after every single use. It is very important so you don't get any kind of soap, residue, any kind of buildup. Do not use any alcohol, acetone, pentanol, or any abrasive cleaning agents to clean the plastic parts or the brushes. All you need is warm to hot water just to rinse it under. And look, tip for y'all, if the filaments have become deformed, you can restore them to their original shape by rinsing the brush. I would like to greatly, greatly shout out Duvall and thank them for sending me this in the mail. I have been using this for about three weeks now and it's really helped my face calm down with the redness. I just properly clean my face and I've never had anything like this but now i know how good it is i can let everyone know all my family and friends know how great this is and that they should definitely buy it like i said it's definitely starting to clear out my face so i'm definitely enjoying this and i will continue to keep using it to hopefully clear out the rest of my redness it is the first cleansing device i have ever owned i used to only use washcloths or loofahs which I would call a fluffy, netty, scrubby scrubber or just simply a poof ball in the shower and they were just a little too harsh. They always left me very dry, itchy and just it was too abrasive for my sensitive skin and this product is not. It is good and suitable for all skin types, especially sensitive faces and I don't have a lot of makeup on but I do have mascara. It is very helpful that they do have an instruction manual inside. It explains what each thing is, how to pop the tools on and off, how to keep them clean. So, so if you'd like to see how this machine is used, please get comfortable and keep on watching. Okay, for today, I'm going to go in first with my Ren Makeup Cleansing Balm. I got these from Marshalls. They're pretty cheap. 
One is a cleansing balm to take off your makeup. And the other one is a clean jelly oil cleanser. So first, I'm going to go in with the balm, not with the cleansing tool. I'm just going to go in with my fingers themselves and just take off my mascara. I'm meant to be used for taking off makeup, just simply cleansing your face. I don't want to get all my makeup caked in there. Now that I have my mascara off and I have my hair up a little crazy, that's fine. I'm going to... The only one I can't obviously show, I can't show a pumice stone today and I'm not going to show the body scrubber, but they are very good. They are very good and they're nice and soft. My skin comes out of that shower feeling like a million bucks. So you could tell the difference. The one that you could tell is more fluffed out is the cleanser and the one that is whiter and a little bit harsher to the touch not much because they are both extremely soft this one's the exfoliator so first we're going to go in with the cleanser and this is how easy it is all you have to do is you just pop it on you can pull it off and pop it on it's so so easy and it has an on and off button on and it rotates and off that's how simple it is i'm gonna quickly just dampen my face cut a little bit of this jelly cleanser. I put it right on, right on the tip. And you hit the on button and you just start going in circular motions. It almost feels like a face massage. It feels so good. You don't want to go on your face too, too long because then it'll get your face really red and irritated. I usually just go on my face for anywhere from one to two minutes, exfoliate for approximately one minute and call it a day. Because like I said, I don't use this to take my makeup off. I do this right after my makeup as a second cleanser and just to quickly exfoliate. Take the applicator off and then I run it under hot water for just a few moments. And then I place it on my handy dandy towel so it can dry. And I'm just going to quickly rinse off my face. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to go in with the same product, just a little bit more of that jelly cleanser. I would say just a smaller than even a penny. I click this on the machine and do the same thing. Slow circular motions. Not too close to the eye, though. And I just take it around town. Yes, I do. Especially up in this nose crevices right there. It's where I like to get my blackheads. Right here. Bullseye. Of course, my hair likes to join in the party always. But again, you only want to go around one to two times max because... You don't want to really exfoliate too much because it gets all of your good oils off of your skin. You can tell it gets a little red. But you don't want to irritate your skin too much because that will also lead to breakouts, acne, and just all kind of skin damage. And you don't want to break down that good barrier that you have on your skin. So I would only do it for one to two times around your face really quick and call it a day. And I only exfoliate at most three times a week, but that's a little pushing it. Maybe I might start going down to two, but it just feels so, so fresh and hydrated. I'm just gonna rinse this off real quick. You don't wanna rub, you just wanna slightly pat. Then I'm gonna go in with my little tiny baby, my Charlotte Tilbury Instant Turnaround Moisturizer. You always wanna put some kind of moisturizer when you're done with this. And it'll take the redness away and bring all of your hydration back to your face. And that, y'all, is how you take off makeup and properly cleanse your face. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you join me on my next makeup review. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little cute bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of all my future uploads. I hope to see you soon. I love you all. Bye, y'all.